Hey, I'm glad you're here. I was just looking at this concoction that the Incan people believe can dissolve a love curse. Shouldn't you be resting? Well, this is no time to rest. I'm still all in. I was thinking maybe we slow down a sec and we can talk this thing through. What is there to talk about? I don't know. Um, if there is a death curse on us, maybe it would be better to not fight it and exist in the world together as friends. Did you not feel what I felt? Of course I did. But then you weren't breathing and I was holding you in my arms and going through everything that you went through in Temperance's hallucination. And it was awful. Yeah. And I, I get, I totally get why you're hesitant to tell me the truth. Right, but I'm not scared anymore. I let fear keep me away from you for, for too long. Temperance was a hundred steps ahead of us. This time she got to the flowers. Next time it could be something else. No matter what we try, she could have sabotaged it. She said you were gonna die and you didn't. No. But watching you collapse almost killed me. Let's say we do try again. Maybe we think we broke the curse. How will we ever know that she didn't plan another twist? We will always be looking over our shoulder. What kind of future is that? I am in this because of you. You said this is what you wanted. I still do. I want to be with you more than anything, but it is not worth the risk. We were friends before for a long time. Even when we had secret feelings for each other, we shoved them down and we'd still be in each other's lives. We managed. I know what it's like to kiss you now and for that to be real and not some hallucination. And I can't, I can't pretend that never happened. I can't go back. I can't go forward. Not like this. What about the sunset in Paris? And the hot air balloon? It would have been perfect. <laughs> You're not just leaving. Oh, it hurts too much to be here. <laughs>